Hi guys, it's Kaylin here. Welcome back to Blissful Blessings. Today's message is going to be about stop being held back by the lies of the enemy. Whether they're coming straight from the enemy, from a family member, from a group of friends, from a place where you used to get support, but now that it's like you're in God and you're in Christ, you're a believer and you're trying to change your life, everything's just been negative. So if that's you, and even if it's not you and you're just interested in watching, please keep watching. So the idea I got this, the scripture, <laughs> I got this idea from is Colossians chapter one and it is verse 17 and it says, he rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us safe into the kingdom of his dear son by whom we are set free. That is our sins are forgiven. All right, so it's kind of two things I wanted to tackle on with this topic. One being that when you come into God, your old circle of people, if they weren't faith-based at the beginning, they're not going to be here for it. They're not going to understand where you're coming from. They're not going to understand this new lifestyle. And I'm personally going through this with a lot of my friends. I have a couple friends who are faith-based, but we never really talked like that. And now, you know, we're getting into talking like that, whether it's my friends who, you know, are out here in the world and just out here doing whatever, I used to hang out with a lot. Now it's kind of becoming sparingly because I have to understand that there are just going to be some people that I don't have to cut off, but I am going to have to limit time with. But as far as for God has rescued us and brought us safe and forgiven our sins, you have to understand people, your friends, your family, whoever it is that you spend a lot of time around, they will always see the old you. They will always see the old you and they will not understand when you're coming into the new you. And they will always try to hold you accountable of things that you've done in your past, which God has forgiven you of. And but that is what the devil wants. He wants people to constantly remind you of where you came from, what you did, and make you think that you aren't worthy enough of one, God's forgiveness, or two, God's love. And that's completely far from the truth. When God rescued us and when God, you know, saved us, he just washed us clean. He washed us clean. There's nothing that you literally could have done before coming to him to just get cleansed, cleansed and get a new perspective that he will hold against you. Because he forgives all. Man puts a hierarchy on sin, but God sees it all the same. So he has washed us clean. You have to understand that. You have to know that though people may bring up your past and you might not like it. You know, a lot of people are like, I just wish I could go back in time and change whatever it is. But it's like, you wouldn't be the person that you are today. And that does build your character. But always know that that is going to be something that will follow you if people know about it. And it's going to carry with you. But you have to understand that is what the devil wants you to hold on to who you were. Hold on to the things that you used to do that were displeasing to God. And make you think that you can't walk in this life with God. You can walk in this life with God. God sees you trying. God sees your heart. God sees you wanting to do better. And that is enough for the beginner. You know, you don't have to come into God thinking that you have to get every single thing right. It's just not going to happen that way. If it was going to happen that way, I wouldn't be on here doing these videos because so many times I've slipped up. So many times I've said I was going to stop doing a thing and I had, to, I just kept doing it. I'm like, Lord, like what is wrong with me? What's going on with me? You're so good to me. You keep forgiving me. It's like, when does it end? When does it stop? God is always going to be here. And every single time that we ask for forgiveness, God is, he's going to give it to us. Now, there does come a point where it's an excessive amount of times where he will actually hand you over to what it is that you keep going back to. But that's a topic and that's another discussion for another time. But I really wanted to get on here to say, don't let people bring up your past to tear you from where you're trying to go. You're always going to have those memories. You're always going to have those things, but they do not define who you are right now and who you're going to become. And I know a lot of times we want to run from what we were and get away from it, but we got to face it head on because when you're running from something, it's always going to follow you until you face it and you just tell it, it is what it is. I am who I am and this is who I'm trying to be. I can't get forward if I keep holding on to you, if I keep letting you take reign of my life, you will never get further. So understand God is forgiving you and he is all who needs to forgive you. 
You know, your life isn't perfect. It's not going to be perfect. But striving and trying, God sees that. So don't be discouraged when people bring up your past. Don't be discouraged when you remember something in your past that just you can't even believe that you did. Don't let that discourage you. You know, you ask for forgiveness and you keep it moving because God wants to take you to higher levels, new places with new people and surround you with God fearing folk and the goodness of God. So that is my message for today. One, when you're changing and when you're getting into being, you know, having God at the center of your life, people, people are not going to like that. You know, unbelievers aren't going to like that. Don't let that stop you. And two, you are forgiven of all your sins. Okay. They can't stop you from trying to get better and trying to live a better life and just get into God. So don't let those things stop you. Don't let them bring you down. Keep going on with your journey. God sees it all and he is rooting for you, okay? So I hope this video encouraged you all. I hope it maybe spoke to someone who needed to hear this right now. I know I'm all over the place like in this video, but those were just the two things that I wanted to speak on. So I hope you all have a lovely day. Stay blessed, stay encouraged, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.